This video is all about potential difference. We're thinking now about voltage or volts. Now you're probably quite familiar with this idea because you've seen this written down on all sorts of electrical devices. When you learn about this in class, we call it potential difference. We give it a different name because, well, we wouldn't want to make it easy, would we? Remember that electricity is the flow of electrons, and the number of electrons flowing in any unit of time is known as the electrical current. It's not very convenient to talk about the number of electrons flowing in any unit of time because electrons are so small and there are so many of them flowing. Instead, we talk about coulombs. One coulomb is this many electrons. One coulomb per second is known as one ampere, often shortened to amps. In order to do any kind of work, we require energy. Electrical light bulbs require electrical energy so that they can convert it into light energy. Energy is measured in joules, and the number of joules that each coulomb gives to a component is known as volts. One volt equals one joule per coulomb. When we talk about voltage, we often refer to it as potential difference. And there's a reason why we call it the difference, because it's the difference between before and after a component in a circuit. It's convenient to think about this with the analogy of water moving uphill and then down a waterfall, making a water wheel spin. In this example, moving uphill is provided by the battery. The flow of water is representing the flow of electricity, the current, through the circuit, and making the water wheel spin is equivalent to giving the energy to make the light bulb give off light. Imagine that it takes 100 joules of energy to move a certain amount of water from the bottom of the hill to the top. This water then continues flowing and eventually falls down the waterfall. As it does that, it provides energy for the water wheel to spin. From the top of the waterfall to the bottom, the water has lost 100 joules of energy. The difference in energy per unit of water is 100 joules from one side of the component, from one side of the water wheel, to the other. The difference in energy per unit of water from the bottom of the hill to the top is 100 joules. This is comparable to an electrical circuit. Imagine we've got a 9 volt battery connected up to a light bulb. The 9 volt battery provides 9 joules per coulomb to the flowing charge. The electrical component, which is the light bulb in this case, takes 9 joules from every coulomb of flowing charge in order for it to do the work that it needs to do, which in this case is provide light. <laughs> 